Hey guys, it's been a little while since I've made a video, but I've been getting a lot of questions about the new software and, you know, the updates they've made recently to Maz and to OpenStack. And a lot of people can't get Juju bootstrapped. And I've found that in the new software, it's not just as easy as installing it and your nodes can then talk through Maz to get out to the internet. For some reason they can directly route when installing, but then after they get their static IP, uh, they can't talk anymore to the internet. So I found a fix and I wanted to walk that walk you through that and show you a few differences real quick. Let's do the differences first. As you've seen, if you've installed in the last four or five weeks, uh Mass has changed quite a bit. Uh, there are a few different features in Maz now, uh, and a lot of them concern uh, networking. I believe it's actually in settings, but we're getting a little more secure. Uh, they've done a few different things in here. Doesn't really concern us, but I've created another networking diagram. We'll save this real quick. Uh, so go out here and check out the network diagram again. I ha I made my network just a little bit more simple uh, for you guys to understand. But it, now make sure before we had the same kind of configuration. But make sure now you have one node that goes to the internet. And you also have one node that has two NIC cards that go to the private uh, private network. Uh, this is the only way that I can get the configuration to work. As I just rebuilt the cloud not too long ago with this new software. This is the only way I can get it to work. So with that said, you get two NICs in node 1 here and two NICs in node 3, whatever node you want to put them in. But go back to Maz and go to the Networks tab and make sure those cards are designated to the right network. So we've got that node 3 here that's sent to the internet. Well, he needs that card needs to be set up in the public network in this 192.168 network. Set him up in here and save that. Then go back to networks and check on your private network, ETH1. Make sure all those cards, see we've got two in here for node one, make sure they're designated in here because when landscape spins up and he tries to install the cloud, he's going to complain that you don't have a, a, a public connection and you don't have two private connections on one node. He's going to complain about that if you don't do this. So make sure that's all set up. Again, I have updated the, the site and I'll tag it on the bottom of this video, but I've got your settings down here at the bottom on that site. Okay, so that's the changes that I've noticed that really needs to be taken care of or landscape will not build your cloud. Now, let's take a look at this. Um, Juju won't bootstrap bug. Well, it's not a bug, it's a configuration issue. So, if you are getting errors, if you go to Let's do an LL right here and take a look. So you've got your cloud install directory. CD in the cloud install. Take a look. Everything from when you install uh, landscape and OpenStack is going to be in this commands log. So take a look at commands log. And this was a clean install, so you're not going to see that error in here, but this is where you would find it. So if, if Juju comes back, when you go right into the installer and you punch in your API key and it comes back after so many seconds it says can't bootstrap Juju, go into that log and take a look. If you're starting to see errors like this, can't download, failed to connect, 443, all, connection timed out, all that good stuff. If you see stuff like that, then that means the nodes can't 
get to the internet successfully to download the packages any longer. And they can when you spin them up, like when you commission them and you power them on, they can get to the internet and get their packages, but then after you get handed that private static IP, they no longer can. So the 10.1.1.151 through 150 whatever, that IP, they can no longer get to the internet. And what it is, is IPv4 uh, package for uh, packet forwarding needs to be turned on. So check out your log. If you're getting some 443s, uh, take a look at this file right here, etcsyscontrol.conf. Go out here, take a look at it, and this is what controls how packets are routed through this server. And there's a line right down here that enables packet forwarding. So what he will do is when he gets a packet for 150, he will go ahead and, and route it on up if he, if he can't find that DNS name or that IP on our network. He'll route it up until he can. So that should fix the 443 errors with the in the bootstrap issue. So after you've made your configuration change here, uh, and you've, you've uncommented that line, save that file, reboot Maz, bring him up, try your Juju bootstrap again. Anytime you do a Juju bootstrap, you need to go back and clean things up a little bit. Make sure that Maz says that all your nodes are ready. Uh, he and if he doesn't uh, release him, release the node. Also, after you've done that, after you've done the OpenStack install, make sure you run your um, OpenStack install dash u to uninstall. And it's probably not even a bad idea to just remove this cloud install directory altogether before you try it again. Also, make sure that Juju hasn't created any environments. So, see, we've got an environment stood up in here. If he has, before you try to rerun that Juju bootstrap, uh, delete environments and delete SSH. It's also a good idea uh, to remove any uh, SSH entries in your known host file. So, that's going to be the first IP. Remove those IPs because he's not going to want to. He's not going to know what to do with them if he did do a handshake with that server. So run that command. Uh, it's in the documentation. It's in the other videos. But to remove out a known known host. So just clean up before you run the Juju Bootstrap again. The OpenStack installer landscape before you do OpenStack dash install. D clean up again. Uh, get back to square one and try it over. Should now be able to forward. You won't be getting 443s anymore. So that's that. Uh, next video we're going to do. So I've, on this cloud setup, I purposely left one node out because I have never been able to add another compute node on an existing cloud. So that's what we're going to do next. Uh, next video we'll go through the process of adding some more hardware to your existing cloud and just see how that goes. So that's it for this one. Uh, thanks a lot guys.